Okay, it's the 19th of March at 10 a.m. And I've come up to the allotment. It is so quiet. Like, I mean, when I come up on my own, generally I'm on my own in the morning when I come up because obviously probably people work and stuff. Um, but you can hear sirens and the cars and lorries and whatever in the background and it's just eerily quiet eerily quiet um yeah so we've not heard any rules and regulations put in place at the moment regarding our allotments it's council let local local authorities let um i think they're just open that you use your common sense and maybe avoid having cups teasing groups and things like that i you know wash your hands more regular and sanitise that sort of thing so I'm, I'm but it is it's weirdly quiet but we haven't we have we haven't got a communal area on this site um we don't really get together and have cups of tea to be honest i think a lot of people come up here to get away from the rat race so anyway i thought i'd do a few clips of what i've what i've done today and it's just like a pottering round nothing Nothing too exciting, but I do like to, you know, record it and look back and blah, blah, blah. So, there. So, we fired, fired up the incubator for the first time this year. And these are chicks from Rescue Hens and Acon. There they are. We put in 13 and we got 9 hatch. That's not bad. These are now four and five days old. So. I have an egg. Look how small that is. <laughs> That's off um, the banty batch. I don't know who, obviously. But there we go. We've got a layer. Lovely. Time to fire the incubator up get a comparison of the eggs so obviously this smaller one's the bantam and these bigger ones that one of the rescues so <laughs> i mean like i said before i don't know who's laying it but there we go oh i'm so chuffed that they're laying this first batch i've actually got to lay in age because i've had that much bad luck with the chickens but i did say that if this if this if this um, batch was went anything anything went wrong, then I wasn't doing them anymore. But yeah, oh, I don't want to smash them. They need they needed more than ever now. Up there. Oh, it's so small, so cute. There's no need. Look, you shouldn't be on here anyway. Okay, you make lots of noise, and there's no need to start attacking me. I'm just coming here to top the food up. Oh, I've got another one. I've got a tuna. Which is great because the more they lay, the oh, it's still warm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Woohoo. Oh, I'll put that, that one with me collection. Ooh. Oh, right, chuffed. <laughs> So I'm just doing a little little bit of pottering today at the overlapment and I had a few dot leaves come up so I thought I'd get them out before they got too much of a problem. But get me blueberries. This is this is about the best they've done. I've had these for two years, but they have been majorly neglected, if I'm honest. So I thought I'd put them in here and give them a little bit of TLC and they seem to be coming on great. The citrus trees that one's getting a new leaf on it. That's me um, lime tree. No, that's the orange tree. So that's got a few new leaves on it, but I don't think there's all that much difference going on at the moment. Uh, yeah, I've got got them out of it. Look at this. That one's grown straight through a plant pot, plastic plant pot. <laughs> so, ugh. but yeah, I'm no doubt they'll come back because I did um, snap a few. Before I got them out fully, but I'll keep on top of them. I got me a freebie. This was um, put put with a 
you know, a lot of rubbish, a rubbish pile. So I thought I'll salvage that and it'll look lovely around my pond. So we all like a freebie, don't we? <laughs> I've also got some duckweed for the pond. See if that helps. It's had a clear out of everything that blown into it through um, over the storm, stormy days. But again, I've not seen anything in it yet. <laughs> Hopefully the duckweed will encourage things. But yeah, I'm loving my freebie. I just need to get some flowers in it. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking maybe all Brucia type flowers. Ones that's going to flow. There you go. Now Jack, don't. I'm not doing anything to you girls. I'm just sitting here looking. Oh, he's protective over him. But you don't need to be a jerk. <laughs> so there are the girls and Jack. Thought I might as well add to this video and show you the progress of the um, single seed challenge seed, which was a gigantimo. This was planted on the 19th of February. And there we go, if you can see, it's just beginning to get his first true leaves there. But yeah, it got a little bit leggy at one point, so I've just put some extra um, vermiculite in there just to stir it up a bit so it don't flop over. Um, there we go. That ain't doing too bad. I'll quick, quickly show you the garlic before I go home. Because I've done the jobs what I wanted to do. I've got, I did think these ones here weren't growing. But they did. They were just a bit slower than the rest. But the garlic's doing great. And... I'm off home now and I hope you still all say, I hope you, oh man, my, my tongue's in knots today. I hope you all stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye.